Thank you, Janike. Uh, actually, oh, thank you. Please, if you've read the word, the next thing, close your eye and meditate. Have you read it? I'm not seeing anybody meditating. You don't, when you read the word and you don't meditate, you haven't read. Close your eye and meditate. Now think about what you read. I want everybody, once it's a short verse. So I want everybody, I want to see everybody meditating. Close your eye and think about what God just said to you. Meditate. Let's just close your eye. Jamilo, you're not meditating. You're distracted. I can see you from here. I need your eyes closed. Think you just read. Remember, God talks to us through the Bible. You just read. Close your eye and then think. Think about what you read. That's when it enters you. God talks to us through the Bible. That's when it enters you. Yes, I can see those that are meditating. You're doing very well. Just think, how, what did you just read? What is God saying to me? What does God mean by this thing he just said? So meditating. You have not read. Okay. All scriptures is in the... Hey, Milady, are you meditating or... You're thinking about something else. You have to try, okay? It's very important. I know you can do this. Just put your mind, what did you just read now? Think about it. Think, just start thinking about what you read. That's when it enters you. Okay, Amarisa, what did God say to you? Amarisa, what did God say to you? What did God say to you from today, what you read today? Um, I thought you were meditating. Why are you going to your Bible? It should, have been, it should be in your mind. What did he say to you? I read the wrong place. Oh, you read, you read the wrong place. Oh. Okay, uh, Jamiloju, Jamiloju, what did God say to you? God told me that when we read the, um, when we read, when I read the Bible, that that um, that um, my life is going to be changed. That um, when you read the Bible, you learn what to do when you're um, God out bless there. You. Fantastic. God bless you. Uh, uh, come on, what did God say to you? God said to me that in the Bible was to... Speak up, my darling. I can't hear you. You are muted. That it was also given to us to teach us the things that are right and wrong. Thank you. Dami, Dami, what did God say to you? I don't want you guys telling me the way it is in the Bible. How did it come to you? What did you understand? Do you understand what you were thinking? What's that? What, is this, what did he say to you? Tell me. What's that? No, I just came back. I just joined. I just finished the lesson. No, that, not you, my darling. The other, Dami, this is not your class. Dami, you're in what three? Your, your class is at 10 15. That's why I told my mom. Your class is at 10 15. You and your sister, you're in the same class. You're not in this class, okay? Okay, good. So, Dami okay. Lola, not you, not Awunik. Dami Lola, your hand is up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what, what I really heard and saw mm -hmm. is that. The Bible, every single word, every single sentence of it uh -huh. can be used in life. Uh -huh. And it can help prepare us when we're in tough situations. And we can be equipped with whatever we need because the Bible is a tool. 
So and you are totally amazing. You are totally, totally amazing. You just wrapped it up. That's what God is now. How many of you got the letter I sent? How, how many of you got the letter I sent? Thank you. And that's why you're all wearing yellow and that's why you are wearing white because I wrote a letter. Now, did I come to anybody's house this week? Was there anybody that saw me in their house this week? I didn't no. come to your houses. No. Some of you are not even living in Lagos. If you're not living in Lagos, put your hand up. If you live outside Lagos, wave. If you live outside Lagos, um, Ekema Bank does not live in Lagos. Okay? So some of you, um, Chia Gozia, they don't live in Lagos. Some of you are not in Lagos, so I didn't get to your house. But everybody got the same message. How did you get the message? Through my letter. Through my letter. How many of you got the letter? You read the letter. You saw it and you read the letter. Now, the only person here that didn't get the letter and is wearing a different outfit is Ayon Fair. And I'm even happy that he didn't get the letter because he's, he's, doing the, he's doing something different. That is also what happens when we don't hear God. Now, every single Bible story you've seen here is a letter. Every single Bible story you see here is a letter. This is a letter written to us by God. So no matter where, any, where you go on earth, and anybody is telling you the Bible is an old book, the Bible was written for old people, the Bible is a letter written to everybody by God. Whether you're Chinese, whether you're from Dubai, whether you're from the US, whether you're from India, everybody that God created, this is God's letter to us. And just like I didn't come to your houses and you were in different places, but the letter got to you and we're all doing the same thing. That is how God sent this same letter. The Bible is just a letter. What Bible means book? Um, Joseph and Namor, you're going to be in trouble. You can't be playing with your shirt. You can't be playing with your shirt. Who can tell me where I stopped? Where did I stop? Who can tell me where I stopped? Teacher, teacher Nikki, are you still there? Mr. Teacher Michael, are you there so that you can grade them for me? Who can tell me where I stopped? Um, let me see. Who can tell me? Okay, Timayo, where did I stop? Timayo, where did I stop? You stopped at saying how um um wherever you are um or where you live or where you're from, uh -huh. if you're Chinese or American or whatever, amazing, and you can still read the word of God and it's just like your letter. Thank you. So the word this is what just I sent the letter out to all of the water and children. Some of them are 15, some are 16, and some of you here you're eight, you're not the same age, but it's the same letter. The same way, Samaya, uh, Sema, uh, you're, you're going to get into trouble. You know I can see everybody from here. And when I look at you and you're distracted, I know you're going to lose points. Teacher Michael is taking away points. So the Bible was actually written. The Bible is God's letter to everybody ever created. But then why are people acting differently? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Why are people acting differently? Tell me, Lade. People are acting different, differently because they have not gotten the letter. The word Thank of you. So many people are not reading the letter, the Bible. Because you have a Bible at home doesn't mean you've read it. People are acting in so many bad ways and doing different things because they are not reading the letter. And some people already read the letter, but they are not doing what the letter says. Like somebody came in in World one. He was wearing a black T-shirt and a red face cap. And I said to him, why? He said, I read the letter, but I don't know. I didn't know that you wanted us to wear it. I thought it was just a message. And I said to him, go back and change. So during the class, I had to send him out to go and change. The same way so many of us read the Bible, and we don't do the Bible. We just think God is just writing. And that is why the world is the way it is. So if you want to hear God, if you want to hear God, our theme for this year is hearing God. Our theme for this year is hearing God. This is the fastest and easiest way you can hear God. This is the fastest and is Jamilo, I don't know why you're writing. Listen to me. This is the fastest way that we can hear God. If you want to hear God, this is the fastest way. Everything written here is a story. 
God talks to us through stories, through the letters. He writes the stories as a letter. The Bible is full of stories, but every story is a letter and it's a message. So if you want to hear God, it's very easy. Concentrate and hear the Bible stories. Like this week, God is going to be telling us seven things. He's going to be giving us seven information. Remember, we're talking about how to hear God. He talks to us through the stories, through the Bible. So every day, when you open, once you open your Bible, automatically you want to hear God because this is his letter. When your Bible is permanently closed, you will never hear him because you are not reading the letter. I am, for instance, um, didn't read the letter. That's why he's different. He's wearing blue. And I'm happy we're using him as an illustration. Everybody here in class is wearing white and yellow, but he's wearing blue because he didn't get the information. And it's exactly the same way in life. It's exactly the same way when you don't get instruction correctly, you do the wrong thing. So one major important thing I want us to learn is that God talks to us through what? Hmm? How through, the Bible. through the Bible. And what is the Bible? Bible. Please, I want the, to letter. Letter. the Bible is God's letter to me. The Bible is God's letter. The Bible is God's letter to me. The Bible is God's letter. 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 If you're waiting for God to, if you're waiting for God to appear to you, so if anybody tells you come, there's a place you're going to hear God. Where you go, people will be saying, ah, whoa, oh, eh, 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 forget it. The Bible, I didn't come to your house. I didn't come to her and say, yeah, come and open your wardrobe. Let me show you. I just sent a letter. And you all got it. That is exactly the same way. So don't play with this. Don't play with this. This is God's letter to every human being on earth. And he talks to us through stories. The story God is going to be teaching us today, he's going to be talking to us through the story of Adam. We all know Adam. Yeah. God is going to be telling us seven things. And those seven things, I'll be sending you through audio message. So we're going to be sending you seven audio messages once a day. Now listen to instruction once a day. Don't read all the seven audio messages in one day. Don't listen. Once a day. So in one day, you will listen to the audio message. God has seven messages. Just through one Bible message. Just through one letter he wrote about Adam. He has seven things he needs to tell us. So every day you have to listen to the audio to be able to hear the seven things that God wants to tell us. Is that okay? Now we all know the story of Adam. Adam was the first man ever created. You guys talk about superheroes. None of them was close to Adam. Adam was phenomenal. He was phenomenal because he was super intelligent. His intelligence, as they said, it cannot even be, nobody can even measure his intelligence. He was so powerful. Everything was working and he could talk to God one-on-one. -on -one. The way you can see me talk to you was the way he could talk to God. Demilade, I'm losing you. You're distracted. I can feel it from here. I'm losing you. Then God felt, oh, let me just help Adam to make, to make life better. He gave him a wife. And then the two of them were living happily up until they stopped listening to God. And then somebody came and distracted them. So if what you listen to will determine how you're going to become. What you listen to or who you listen to will determine how you're going to become. The devil came and started talking to them and they stopped listening to God. So if, you, if you're always on TV, the TV will be talking to you. If you're always on your game, your game is talking to you. If you're always playing with your friends and you don't read the Bible, you're so distracted, you're on Netflix, you're everywhere, you're not listening to God, you're going to be distracted. That was what happened to Adam and Eve. And then they made a huge mistake. Do you know why the world is still the way it is today? Because of that little mistake that they made and then it ruined the whole world. And then do you even know what, God, what made God so sad? And that is why you have to take your time to listen to the stories. God has seven messages that he wants to tell you. When God came to Adam, he said, Adam, what happened? Adam said, God, it's not me. It's not me, it's not me, it's not me, it's not me. It's if. And God said, if. Okay. He said, ask her. And then God said, if, if, hey, hey, God, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's the devil. And God said, so I gave you people something to do. And you people are busy telling me it's not me. It's not me. 
And that is why the world is the way it is. But do you know what? God had to take his time to write, to write down that story as a letter for us. He took his time to write the story of Adam and Eve as a letter for us because there's something he wants to tell us. He has seven things that he wants you to know and seven things he wants me to know. We read it today that the Bible was in construction. So one of the things you're going to do, once we're, once we're done with this class right now, once we're done with this class right now, the class is not over. You're going to be watching a video on Adam and Eve. Now, remember, when I got, God talks in different ways now, he talks through videos. He tells you the Bible stories through videos. Um, one, do you're distracted. How can you be playing with your cup? You're going to lose points. So what God did is, um, now God talks to us through letters, through the Bible. He talks to us through videos. He's telling the story. God likes stories. And anytime he's telling you a story, he talks through stories. You must learn that. So when you're reading the Bible, don't just say, oh, the Bible is just a story. No, God talks through the story, just like the letter I sent to you, okay? So what we're going to do, you're going to be watching a video. Please get your Bible and paper ready. That was why I said, keep your journal and Bible. So when you're reading, you're going to take your time. When you're watching the video, you start anything that is important in that video, you write it down. Anything you learn from that video, you write it down. Anything you learn when the bed, because we're going to be giving you strong points. So that at the end of the term, let's actually know who got it, who now knows how to hear God. God talks to us through the stories of the Bible. So you're going to be watching Adam and Eve. When you catch anything that, oh, this is a lesson. I think God is talking to me here. Through what just happened here, you write it down. And then every day we're going to be sending you an audio. Every day we're going to be sending you an audio message because God has seven things to tell you. I'm not going to be sharing the video now. Once we're done with the class, we close the Zoom class and then the video will be sent to your class link. Is that okay? So every day when you hear the message that God has for you from Adam, you write it down, okay? You write it down every day so that at the end of the week, we see all that you have learned. Please don't miss a day. Now, when you want to hear God, why does God want us to hear him? Why does God want us to hear him? Because we, we just read it from, yes, Amarisa, thank you, my darling, yes. Why does God want us to hear him? Amarisa, tell me. Because I will apply it into our life. Fantastic, so that you can apply it into our lives ahead. And what will happen? Who else wants to help her? Amazing. Who else wants to help her? Yes, Catherine. Yes. Oh. He wants it to, because he wants it to, uh, to help us during when we have, when we're having struggles or when we need it mostly in our lives. And you guys are amazing. He wants you to hear him. Like Catherine and Marisa and Demi Lada said, because God wants us to have the perfect, beautiful life He's created for us. Imagine now if I said I'm going to give I'm going to give like a, I'm going to give a, 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 a packet of pizza to everybody that is wearing white because it's worse than that's birthday. Imagine I said everybody wear white. When I said everybody wear white, I didn't tell you guys the reason because it's worse than that's birthday, and I want to give everybody that is wearing white a pack of pizza. Now I have did not read it. Is he going to get the packet of pizza? Is he going to get a pack of pizza? No. 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 Tell it the no. same way. No. 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 me. Don't worry about me. I get it. I, I get it. It's the same way in heaven. Yes. So if you don't read the letter, yes. you won't make it to heaven. Thank you. God bless you. Fantastic. If you don't read the letter, number one, like you said, you're not going to be able to, you're not making it to heaven. Number two, you're, not, you're going to live on earth. But you're not going to enjoy all that God has planned for you. Number three, like uh, Catherine or Marissa said, when you get into trouble, you're not going to know how to get into get out of trouble. Number four, when you don't read the word, you are not even going to become all that God has called you to be. Number five, you're going to stay separated from God. When you don't hear him and do what he says, you're going to stay separated from God. And then the last is that God wants us to read the Bible, the letter, because he wants us to become like him. The more you read this letter, the more you know who he is and you become like him. So it's very important. So you're not waiting for your mom or your dad to tell you this. Yeah, have you read your Bible? Have you read your Bible? No. We now know the importance. Can somebody read that Second Timothy again? So, but, Super, I want you to read it for us. Second Timothy. Super, can you read it for us? Okay. 3, 16 to 17. Read it for us. Do you have your Bible? 
Yes. Read it for us, okay? All scripture is born. Hold on, my darling, yeah. hold on. And before, is... we, no, before we read the Bible, we always say a short prayer because it's the word of God, okay? And the prayer, never read the Bible without saying a prayer to God because it's not an ordinary book, okay? And it's very easy. So can we close our eyes? Father, as we read your word, please speak to our hearts. Give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, Subami, go ahead and read. All scripture is God breath and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. What translation are you using? Thank you, Oki. Okay. What translation is that? I want you to look at it. What are you using? NIV. NIV. Okay, who has a different translation? Who, Demila, um, let me see, who hasn't spoken today? Who hasn't spoken today? Itoha, read from your translation. Janelle, you're not talking, are you? All scripture is given by God mm. and is useful for teaching and showing people what is wrong in their lives. Fantastic. It is useful for correcting faults and teaching how to live right. Fantastic. Using the scriptures, the person who says God will be ready and will have everything he needs to do every good work. Amazing. What translation was that to her? NLT. NLT. That was just super beautiful. And that is what we're going to be, some weeks, we're going to be using the our, our phone to read the Bible so that we can see different translations. Because, Joseph, you're playing again, you're going to lose points. You are going to lose points. So we understand now that the Bible is not just an ordinary book. It's a letter that God has sent to us for correction, for teaching. Now, everybody, bring your water. Everybody, bring your water and bring your Fanta to me. Let me see your water and your Fanta. Please bring it out. Bring it, your water and your Fanta, fantastic. And bring your empty cup. Bring your empty um, cup. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, we're speaking. Super, are you the one speaking? Yes, we go ahead. Fanta. What do you have? Yeah. We don't have Fanta, we have Shwell. Shwe. We have what? Do you have anything that is Shwe. colored? Do you have Shwe. anything that is colored? Because Shwebs just looks like water. I want it's something. colored, it's colored. Okay, fantastic. It's colored. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, so we yes, my darling. Can I go downstairs and get an adult to help me open the bottle? Okay, I need it to be very fast, very fast, because we're going to be starting soon. Go ahead. Now, do we have everything ready? Yes. Are we sure? Now, this is what happens. Okay? Now, this is this is uh, um, very important for you to know why God wants you to read the word every day, and then what is going to happen at the end of it all. If you read the word every day, and at the end of it all, what is going to happen, okay? Now, get your empty cup. Salako, the Salakos, where is your cup and where's your, where your, where's your Fanta? Everybody lift up your Fanta, Salako. Omolara, where's your Fanta and your drink? Where's your water? I need to see. I can hear you. Demila, Damilola, where's yours? Tammy Lola, where's yours? A fantastic. Okay, good. Okay. Make them back. Turn on your camera. I need to see you. Shindara, where's your Fanta and your water and your cup? Shindara. Eme Kamba, where's your Fanta and your water and your cup? Okay, good. Are we all ready? Now, this is what happens. This is what I'm going to um I'm going to um now this is what happens, okay? Now we're like this. We're all like this. Colorless. Okay? And then remember God said he made I, I want you to just don't, don't open your bottles. Don't open it yet, okay? Now this is who we are and this is God. And we all know that Fanta is sweeter than ordinary water. Fanta is sweeter. It's more colorful. 
and it's sweeter. And God is saying, when you read my word, you're going to become like me. Your life is going to be better. Your life is going to be good. So now this is the first thing you do if you really want to be transformed because the Bible was written. The letter was written to give us instruction so that we can live a beautiful, complete life. Okay? So this is the first thing you do. You have to open up yourself. Open up your bottles. Open up the water. You have to open up yourself. Open up yourself. Now, do you know how you open up yourself? When you open up your mind and you're ready to learn from God, you have to open up yourself. If you don't open up your mind, maybe they are teaching you, but you're distracted. That means your mind is closed. They are teaching you, you're distracted. You're distracted. You're not, your mind is closed. So the first thing you have to do, if you really want to be transformed and you want to start hearing God and you want to be like him, is that first you open up yourself. Now, when you open up yourself, remember God wants us to hear him. There's so much noise. Sometimes when you're reading the Bible, you're distracted, you're noisy. So you can't hear God. If you really want to hear God and you want to be transformed, you want to change to be like God, now this is what you do. I want you to empty the water, empty half of it out into a cup. Empty half of the water into a cup. Empty half of it into a cup. You have to empty yourself. Whenever it's time for you to read your Bible, you have to make sure there's no noise in your mind. You have to be calm. When you're calming yourself, what you're meaning is that you're emptying yourself. If you don't empty yourself, if there's so much noise, you're thinking about your friend, you're thinking about TV, you're thinking about radio, you're, sorry, not radio, you're thinking about your game, you're thinking about what's happening downstairs, you're reading your Bible, but your mind is not there, you're distracted, you're not empty. You're not empty. You're not empty. So you have to make sure that first you calm your mind. And that is why I said during word immersion, I said everybody calm your mind. So you pour away all the noise. Have you poured half out? Have you poured half out of the bottle? Into yes, the I have. Fantastic. Yes. Now this is the- My list. cup cannot contain half. It's okay, my yeah, darling. Just pour half. Half. That's fine, just pour away half. Water. So you make sure there's no noise in your mind. And that is why when you go to your boss, when I want to read your word, you make sure there's no noise. There's no body and that you're calm. What you're doing is that you're pouring away noise and you're pouring away from inside of you because you now want to take in from God. Now, this is God. The Fanta is God. So now what you do is that whenever you open up the Bible, whenever you open up your Bible to read, what you're automatically doing is that you're opening up, your, you're opening up the word of God. So open the Bible. Open the Fanta. When you open up the Fanta, that means you just opened your Bible. Anytime you open up the Fanta, anytime you open up the Bible, it's just assume like you've opened up this. You've opened up the Fanta, right? Have you, have you opened it up? Now, everybody look at me. This Fanta is closed. This Fanta is closed. If I want to pour it in here, will it enter? Will it enter? When your Bible is closed, no. when your Bible is always closed, you're not reading your Bible, God, the life of God cannot enter you. You can't hear him. Remember, we hear him through the letter, okay? So when you close the Bible and you don't open up your Bible every week, your Bible is closed. Only when you go to church on Sundays, you won't hear him. And that's why so many people are on earth and we're all doing the wrong thing because we're not opening up the letter from God. So this is what you do. You open it up. Now, today is, you, you read every day. You pour in every day. So I want you now to pour in a bit. Pour in a bit. Like today you read, pour in a bit. What is happening to it? Is it changing color? Um, I don't know. John, you are pouring it into the glass. It's not in the glass. It's in, the, it's in this other one. You are pouring it into yourself, not into the glass. Do you have the second water? Johnny, do you have it here? I don't know. This one. Yes, pour it in here. This is you. It's a bit yellow. Exactly. Because the more you pour it, the more you pour God into yourself. The way you read your Bible every day, as you're pouring in, you're changing. So tomorrow is Sunday. You read the Bible again. Pour in. Anytime you read the Bible, you're pouring God into yourself. Is the color changing? Is it becoming like this? Yes. Is it becoming yes. like this? Oh my goodness. Wait, oh, wait. Just guys, just hold on. It's still yellow. Okay, good. Now, let's just assume you stopped reading the Bible. Are you going to change totally to be like God? No. Is it completely changed? No. It's still like water, right? Yeah. And that is why you don't read the Bible only once a week. 
When you read only once a week, your life is not going to be like God because you're not pouring God in. The more you pour God inside of you, the more you change. So can we pour in again? Super me, you're not doing this illustration. I want to see you holding your drink and then this. It's changing. Hold on, my darling. Is it changing? Now, let's as we on Monday, on Monday, pour in. On Monday, you read the Bible again. When you read the Bible, you pour in. Is it changing? Is it changing? Yes. 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 On Tuesday, hold on, my darling. On Tuesday, you read the Bible again. Pour in again. No. On Wednesday, you read the Bible again. Pour in again. On Thursday, you read the Bible. That means you're pouring it again. On Friday, you're pouring it again. Yeah. 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 Is it completely changed? Yes. Is it yes. Yes. Now, it's very important to understand this. This is exactly what happens in our life. Now, because you can't see inside of your body. Salakor, you're distracted, you're going to lose points. Salakor, you're distracted, you're going, to, you're going to lose points. Because you don't see what happens inside of your body. This is exactly what happens inside of our spirit. But you can't see it. So any day you read the Bible, as you open the Bible, this is what happens. Just like the Fanta that we just used, okay? Just like the Fanta we just used. Whenever you read the Bible, it enters you, it changes you. The next day you read the Bible, it enters, it changes you. The next day you read the Bible, it enters, it changes you. As you keep reading every day, it keeps entering. Before you know it, you're changed. I told you guys, like, before me, I used to smoke. I used to drink. I used to do so many bad things. Because then I was not reading the Bible. God was not talking to me. But I started reading the Bible and it started changing me. And now I'm looking completely, almost changed. I'm looking like more like God. My life is sweeter. Now I want you to lift up your new change. I want you to lift up your new change. Um, the new you, the new you. Lift up the new you. The one you poured into. Lift up the one you poured into. The one you poured into. <laughs> Can you lift it up? Now, please, who wants to be like this? Who wants to be changed completely like this? So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question now. Uh, Shindara, what do you do? Shindara, what do you do if you want to be completely changed to look like God, to have a good life? What do you do, Shindara? Shindara. Arararo, what do you do if you really you want read to read the Bible? Now, I want everybody to type in. Teacher Michael, please, I want you to greet. Thank you. Type in what, if you tell me if you read the Bible, mm -mm. if you read the Bible only once a day, you're not going to be completely changed. So type in what you're going to do every day for you to hear God and be transformed. We're going to bring it out and we're going to grade it. Type, type in what you're going to do now from what you learned. Type in what you're going to do now quickly because we're closing class soon. What are you going to do? Goodness and Chris, are you guys just coming in? Why are you just coming in now? Hmm? You missed almost all of the class. Sure, we missed the timing. We saw 10 o'clock now. Oh, no. 10.15 is for what? Three. Oh. You guys are in what two, right? Yeah. Oh. Don't worry. We'll share the video, okay? Excuse me. Okay? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. What yes. are we supposed to type? Type in if you want to be completely transformed from before and after. What you did with your Fanta. Type in what you're going to do, where you're going to do it. What are you going to do now? How will you hear him? What are you going to do to be completely transformed? Because hearing God transforms us. I'm going to read the Bible and pray to God. Uh, 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 that's not what I want to see. Uh, Joseph, I want you to rewrite it. I want, Joseph, I want, based on the illustration I gave, I read the Bible every day and I always obey God's word. Thank you. It gets applied to me. Mm -hmm. I want to say what. I, remember, if you read it, you were pouring in the Fanta every day, pouring in every day. So it is not enough to read only once. Right? What you write is going to be how you're going to be graded. Though. If you say, I read the Bible, mm -hmm, it doesn't mean anything. How, what are you going to do every day? How are you going to take your Bible reading now that you know that I will go to God's corner and read the Bible every day? Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I'm also practicing. Fantastic. Thank you. You, nobody has said, I'm going to first clear myself. 
you first have to clear yourself because if you're full, if you're too full of noise, you can't enter. Write down what are you going to do? What are you going to do? When you, start, when you really want God to enter, you really want God's word to enter, type in what you're going to do. I want to see it now in print. Type in clearly what you're, starting from the first method, spend time in God's corner and studying the word. What do you do before you spend that time? I showed you guys as an illustration. What is the first thing you do if God has to actually enter you? Wherever I am and I will get half of myself out. Then how do you clear yourself out? Thank you. I'll open up myself and pay attention. Amazing. Thank you. You guys, I want, to, I want to see it coming. What are you going to do? What are you taking away from this class? Open up and clear out. Amazing. Open up and clear out the noise. Shut the door. Make sure the TV is not on. Your radio is, uh, your, um, your phone is not on. Your game is not near you. I'll clear myself out. Fantastic. My distraction and uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Totally amazing. Awesome. So this is very important. So we'll be sending you the homework now. Okay. Now, what you're going, to, you're going to sit down. You're going to sit down and then you're going to watch the video. The class is not over. You're going to watch the video and hear what God is going to tell you. You know, He talks to us through the stories. And then after listening, you write down all that you learned from that thing, all that God said to you through the video. And then we're going to be sending you a daily message each. Make sure to listen to the daily message. Write down all you learned today and send to the class for grading. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. What did you say? I couldn't yes. hear you. I said we're going to be sending you a video now. You're going to be watching the video now from Adam because God is going to be talking to us in the next seven days through Adam. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Is that okay? So you're going to be watching the class video now. God bless. Teacher, teacher Michael, can you show your face briefly? I, I need to rush to what three. Can you show your face briefly, Teacher Michael, so they can see you and say hello? Teacher Michael is not here. Okay, let's go. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Teacher, teacher, teacher is sending the class video now. Bye. 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 Goodness, don't worry. Goodness Bye. and peace. You guys are going to get the video, okay? Bye. Thank okay. you. Okay, bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.